Hi and welcome back. So I'm just going to start off. This is a my whole video of all the things that I've bought from like Primark, Etsy, the Disney store um, in March and a little bit of April. Um, but I'm going to start off first with some great news. I have just booked a trip to Disneyland Paris. Um, it's not until December so I've got a long way to go but I'm finally going back to Disney, so I'm super excited. Obviously, I'll be vlogging all of that for you guys. Um, and I've still got all my videos for, like, what to expect with the Cultural Exchange Programme as well. That's coming up. Um, but first, I just wanted to get this haul up. Um, as all my things are slowly starting to pile up, so I thought I needed to do this haul. So I'm going to start off with some Primark things. At the minute, Primark are rocking the Disney stuff. Like, not only did they have the Beauty and the Beast, Alice in Wonderland, but they've now brought out my favourite movie, Aladdin. Oh my gosh, if I could have bought everything, I would have. But, start off, no hesitations buying this. It is the dressing gown. And look, he's on the hood! And it's a little earring as well. He's so cute. And it says here, um... Uh, just Aladdin in the lamp and it's a nice gold embroidery Um, it's still stars on the cuff stars on the inside it is the coziest thing ever I am in love with this Um, so yeah even though I already have a dressing gown I was like I need this one <laughs> it's the genie now the pyjamas to go with it I'm not a fan of um, but I would like some different pyjamas to go with my dressing gown and some slippers like they need to have some even if it's just like the little slipper socks they need something to go with these but anyway next <gasps> okay I am so upset Just okay. I've literally just got this out of the box and it's broken. The handle just came off. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Okay, Primark, I am not happy with you right now. <gasps> Okay, I will be taking this bad boy back because I am not happy at all with it. Um, and at least I've got it on video for proof that it came broken because I just got it out of the box and it broke. Okay. Anyway, so we have this lamp. <laughs> I do have another one, but that is as for present. <laughs> It's basically, it's meant to be a teapot. I wasn't going to use it for to make tea. I literally just wanted it as a decoration to go on my, like, Disney shelf that I'll have in my new place. Um, so it's supposed to look like this. I'm actually so upset right now. <laughs> and it's broken. <laughs> but we're just going to move on from that. And I'm going to take that back because Beck is not happy with that. Um... I'm not going to have to check the other one as well, actually. Oh, that's not broken. Anyway, other Aladdin things is... Oh, my gosh. Right, so... Again, I said in my previous haul, follow Disney Find. Like, Disney Find on Instagram and on Facebook is the best for all your recent and up-to-date Disney merch. Not just from Primark, from the Disney Store, from EMP. Everything Disney, even, like, H&M, everything... Like she will find and she will post. So she first, I first found the link about all the Aladdin merchandise coming to Primark from her. Um, and I saw that they did this bedding. You can just see the pattern. Oh my God, it's reversible. It comes in double and it's got this beautiful lamp in the middle of it. Now I am going to keep it like this in its little nice and neatly folded um but yeah it is just beautiful because it's like what i'm trying to start 
is the subtleness of some Disney things, like subtle things just all around the place. And this is quite subtle because it's got the nice lamp, but on the other side, it's only got little lamps on it. So very, very cute and very jasmine. And she's my favourite. And oh my gosh, there is supposed to be a throw coming out that's in this pattern. And also Disney Find have posted a towel. Um, that circular shape so I'm very interested in that but I haven't been able to find that yet and there's also supposed to be a pillow there's a genie pillow out at the minute but it doesn't really go with the bedding um, but there was a, on this link there was a um, pillow that was supposed to go with this um, but on the topic of towels I did get these so they're just some cute tea towels. Fiverr. Can't complain. They've just got a cute um, lamp on the front and some little pom-poms at the bottom. And then the other side, it's got a silhouette of jasmine and then just some really cool patterns as well. Um, so yeah, those were Fiverr. The bedding was 20 so quite, I don't know if that's good or not for a bedding. I don't know. But £20 for the bedding. I think the dressing gown was £16 and that was 10 Yeah. The lamp was £10. I'm just still raging about that. I'm not going to lie, I'm still raging. So I'm, I've got this, but I'm going to get this out of the box right now to double check that this hasn't broken. Okay, no. She's not broken. She's very cute. And this is my Marie Trinket Dish. I just thought I always just show off like, my watch and my necklace onto my bedside table and it really does need a dish to put them all in because I literally just chuck them there so I thought this will look go really nice on my bedside table I can just put my necklaces and my watch and everything and my bracelets just on here um, it's still in its box because I'm going to just transport it home um, this weekend but yeah she's actually so cute there is some really cute Marie stuff but I'm not like, I'm a Marie fan, I just think at the minute she's not, she's kind of been overdone. Um, but this trinket dish is super cute. Okay, right, so I'm happy with that. I've just got everything everywhere. Right, clothes. So, oh. Um, we've got, this was on sale for £3, reduced from 8 So I was like, yes. So it's just nice Mickey t-shirt. And like the, the Mickey, it's all like f fair, so it's really, really cute. Just thought with some jeans, just nice casual look top. So there's that one. This one was £8, is Stitch. And I just love how he's just so. Oh, let me just make sure I'll get it. So it's, I have just tried it on to make sure it fit because this is very new in. I have only just bought this recently. But he's just there, he's just very well stitched onto here um he's just super cute and then i also got this was oh i don't know the price of this one i'm sure this one was, was reduced as well actually i don't know but it's just a jumper i just thought stitch at the top i just thought it's really cute um and i've been wearing that quite a lot recently actually with this changing all the time weather um, another th another thing from Primark that I got, which now I can actually start using once I've finished this whole video. Because um, I didn't want it to be covered with makeup when I do it. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It is actually so soft. It's the Beauty and the Beast Rose Makeup Brush. So you can see, I hope you can see it. Um, like It's like a little bit of rose in there. So soft. You do that when you're like getting a new makeup brush. I always just put it like here to be like, oh, it's so soft. Um, that is beautiful. That was four pound. That's still in Primark at the minute. The last Primark item were these bikini bottoms. Just thought super cute. They've got little Mickey's all over them. Um, I really struggled to find this. These were not in the Chester store. Um, or the Warrington store, or the Borton store. Borton, Borton. Either way, one, another Primark store. It wasn't until I went to Liverpool that 
um, these were there. So I was like, yep, even though I'm trying to lose weight, I was like, no, I need to get these now. <laughs> I don't know if I have summer holiday planned. But so I got these. Um, they did have the bikini top in the exact same pattern. But one of the things I don't like about um, Primark bikinis tops, a lot of them are really tiny tops. So if you have larger boobs, basically, they, j they just don't fit. No matter if you get your size, or even the, the, the larger size that they do, they may cover, but they just do not support or anything. Um, so I thought I'm going to get the bottoms and just do it with a nice black that holds everything in bikini top. But I haven't bought that yet. Um, so yeah. So don't be like, if you you're, you have the same issue as me, you can still buy the bottoms. Just do it with a normal black bikini top. I would say try red, but re red's a hard colour to try and match with this red. Um, but yeah, so these were £4. So I thought, that was beautiful. Um, now on to my Disney store. So uh, they have released some mugs recently. And they are of the very underrated and under merchandised <laughs> so you don't find them around a lot characters and films so I have this Robin Hood one like I love this film um, it's just a very basic mug and then just on the side you've got a little jar in there as well so I just thought it was super cute not gonna lie I can't remember the price I think it's about I don't I'm not gonna estimate but yeah great mug perfect size for um hot chocolates um and not the they are it's too big for my coffees but i still do coffees and i just have it up to there um but yeah i just thought it's a great mug and i've not actually bought a mug in a long time which is good for me like i used to go every day and get like a new mug but i have been very good recently and not had bought a mug since wait I've not bought a mug since the summer when it was in Disney World. I bought lots, but I haven't bought one since. So that is very good for me to go that long without buying a mug. Okay, and now if you could see in my last haul video. I got obsessed with these little animation, little animators collections. Um, and I've bought two since my last haul. And I was like, you know, I'm going to just wait open them on here with all you guys so that is what I'm going to do now um they're mystery so you don't know what they are so far I have flounder and I have Susie from um Cinderella so shut up okay you can see slightly in the middle I have been you can get baby Hercules or baby Pegasus and I don't know if you can see it, but you can see there's a little picture of Hercules. So I am just praying. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's baby Herc! <gasps> oh my god, he is so cute! Okay, oh, how, how shall I hold him? Like that. Look how cute he is! <gasps> I am super stoked! <gasps> oh my gosh. Because you can't, like, it's, I don't know if it's cheating or not, but you can sort of see here sometimes the picture you get. Where did it go? So you got, get these clips, which just goes, how did they go? Oh, yeah. And here, and they'll clip, they can clip boxes together. And they'll clip boxes together like that. Um, oh, I just nearly broke it. <gasps> Whoops. Um, so, yeah, you get them. And what else do you get? You get a learn to draw. So, it says learn to draw. And it's basically learn to draw Hercules. It does miss a lot of steps because it goes from there to there. I've still not attempted one of these yet. But basically, you can see some of these sometimes through this white thing. Um, so I do kind of look 
and a lot of the times I've seen it aerial and I'm too scared now I'm scared that I'm going to get flounder again and I, I want to collect them all so I need to just go for it but I am very worried that I'm going to get the same one twice because I know a lot of people who have got um, Susie so I've been trying to avoid getting the Cinderella ones um, but yeah so and then it comes with this little pack is there anything new in here no I'm not seeing the purple one or anything yet um, and so in this one you could get Ariel Flounder Sebastian so even if I did get one with Ar like I could also get Sebastian you could get Cinderella Susie Gus Gus Hercules and a mystery character and I did hear that the mystery character was Pegasus so that I am super happy with Hercules um right now the next one so these are four pound each um from the disney store because chester didn't have a disney store for a long time and um, since before christmas there's only one just come back so that's why i've now gone a bit crazy with them again um so i can see on the picture it is cinderella oh no got susie again you can feel it. Damn it! That's not fun! Oh, whoops. There is Susie. She is really cute. She's got little scissors and stuff inside. But I've got Susie. Oh, if anyone wants Susie, just comment below and I'll see if I can sort something out. Or I might do it like a giveaway or something, I don't know. And you could win Susie. That's really upset me. I knew this would happen. So it's, it's going to make me not want to buy them again. Because I don't want to just keep getting the same characters. But I really want Pegasus and Ariel. I would actually like Sebastian. So I'm just next time I'm just going to have to pick and just not look at the picture behind. I just need to do it. So yeah. That is those. What else do I have? Oh yes. Um, again, a new thing that I've started to collect is these pictures from LMR Disney on Instagram and LMR Illustrations on Etsy. On Etsy, yeah, that's her Etsy name. So on my last video, I got a Winnie the Pooh one and a Moana one. Now I needed this one to go with my baby Moana, and it is Baby Tink. She is so cute and it's cute like little on the back as well um she's just super cute and then on my other one i won a one of her uh, giveaways which never happens to me ever so i could choose any um a no this is an a4 a5 print from her etsy first place could have got a custom one which i was glad about but I got this one so I got to choose anything from her collection and I chose Lady and the Tramp and I just this is I, I do think this one is my favourite even though it's not the one I actually have bought I just think it's so goddamn cute um and all like they just now all just sit together and they are just so cute um so yeah oh also it's not really anything but got this little bag from the Disney store I don't have a bag and I was like actually this could do be really useful for my lunchbox for work so I was like oh, I'll buy that bag okay now what's the news of me going to Disneyland I am back into the business of making my ears um I am also in the future sometime in the future in the far off future I'm gonna do a how to make your own ears um, I don't use a sewing machine or anything. I hand stitch all of mine, um, which yes, does take forever. Um, but I have just bought some more new material as I'm going at Christmas. So I've just got this lovely bauble material, which I'm going to do with some cute red bows um, for the middle. So yeah, and then so just got some silver and, and red to go with it. And then I saw this in Primark. Um, 
it's four pound and it's just loads of stitches which I wouldn't wear as a t-shirt if you have fair enough it's a very nice t-shirt but it's it's not something I would go out in um but I thought this would actually make really good ears so I'm gonna oh I have my mouth um like cut cut like the stitch out and attach it to some ears um I've got a lot of different designs lined up I'm gonna I've decided I'm gonna do them all do one of everything then I'm gonna start putting them on my Etsy again so I actually I don't have time to just do it to order just because I don't want to disappoint anyone and having a really long turnaround I'd rather just someone buy it and then I can ship it straight away so if you have any suggestions of any ears please put it down in the comments there are a lot that I've thought of already that um, I'm going to do and there's some designs that I've been coming up with to make these possible um, but yeah so I'm planning on taking about 10 to 12 ears with me to uh, in Paris just because I just I love having the specific ones to characters it just makes for a better interaction sometimes like you've got that wait in to start the conversation rather than just that awkward like walk up have a photo sort of thing um so yeah and then yeah so let me know if you've got any ideas if you were interested in buying them um they're not up on my etsy just yet but i will let you all know when they are and i'll do like a little tour of all the different types of ears that i have as well um but yeah so thank you so much for watching the next video that i will be doing will be the what to expect um working at walt disney world in attractions um as that's what i've just did in my summer just gone so yeah so stay tuned if you're interested in that if not there will be other loads of other different haul videos that i'm doing i'm going to liverpool this weekend so i'm probably going to be buying more things i'll probably try and do one before the end of april this time just so there's not a whole month in between because then it just builds up to a lot of things um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.